A lot of people think that Michigan is a place that's been left behind. They associate it with loss and decline and deindustrialization. But in fact, Michigan has had the second strongest recovery of all of the 50 states. It's got a small budget surplus. Michigan has a lot of the qualities and a lot of the characteristics that will make it powerful in the next economy. It's got a very strong manufacturing base, a strong innovation base, and a really great export base. Those qualities that are making Michigan strong, innovation, manufacturing, and exports, are centered in its metropolitan areas. So our idea is that Michigan needs to build on these areas of strength in its metros to take this recovery bounce it's getting and make it something that's really durable and that can pave the way for decades of prosperity ahead. Michigan needs to focus on three key areas. First, it needs to focus on ramping up manufacturing and innovation and then helping those innovative created products find global markets. So it needs to ramp up its export uh, support and it also needs to think about foreign direct investment which is uh, another way to engage the global economy to bring in investments from abroad to shore up areas in the Michigan supply chain. The key here is to think about the, the product and innovation cycle. Right? You take great ideas that are being hatched in Michigan's universities and laboratories and private sector companies. You create those, you, you use those innovations, you commercialize them, you make the kind of new and innovative products that Americans can create to compete in the global market, and then you figure out how to get those abroad, then you figure out how to bring foreign money back in to start the cycle all over again. Michigan's working age population is growing pretty slowly. Michigan needs to figure out how to take uh, the skills that it has in its population and retool those for a more 21st century advanced manufacturing workforce. It can do those, we think, by getting a little more freedom from some federal regulations and creating a workforce system that's really tailored to the needs of the state. Another thing that Michigan can do is attract more immigrants to its metropolitan areas. Michigan's metros tend to have fewer foreign-born residents than most other places. However, the foreign-born residents that it does have tend to be better educated than most immigrants to the United States. So what we think Michigan needs to do is get those immigrants into uh, credentials so that they can use the great educations that they're bringing with them to this country and deploy them to benefit the Michigan economy. If you look at a place like downtown and midtown Detroit, you see that they've got a number of jobs and innovation powerhouses there. They've got medical centers, university campuses, technology incubators. The idea of an innovation district is to recognize and align all of the private and philanthropic resources you've got in a place and figure out how to make public resources act as effectively as possible in those places. So think about all the money that you're spending in a particular area and figure out how to make it all work together, work harmoniously, and feed all the innovations that are happening there. That's what we think that Michigan can really capitalize on in a lot of its uh, urban areas like Detroit, Grand Rapids. What if Michigan figured out how to align all of the state resources that it just normally directs to these places? You know, money for things like research, money for higher education, money for transportation, money for training, and figures out how to say, wow, we've got millions of dollars going into this, this, you know, these square blocks. How do we align those so that they leverage other money? How do we think creatively about getting the most bang from our buck in this area? And how do we change the behavior of state players so that all that money can work together and not at cross purposes and not having to do 20 steps to get this pot of money and 30 steps to get this pot of money? What if Michigan said, we're already investing millions of dollars here and let's figure out how to make that all work as synergistically and as positively as possible?